In this video I'm going to uh, just do a standard uh, exam paper from the old M1 syllabus but these are still quite well relevant questions to you uh, doing unit 2 or 4. So in this uh, diagram shows there are four uh, horizontal forces of magnitude 16, 9, 21 and 8 so acting in a horizontal plane uh, acting as a point P. All we need to do is calculate the magic magnitude of the resultant of the forces Determine the angle the resultant makes with the 8 newton force. Give your answers correct to one decimal place. So, uh, as we've talked about before, we need to first of all allocate some uh, right angle triangles to find our horizontal vertical components to those forces that are acting at an angle to the horizontal. So here we've got two. We've got the 21 newtons, which is uh, acting at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, remember, these are all at right angles to each other, horizontal and vertical. And then we've obviously got the 9 newton, which is acting at 75 degrees to the horizontal. And that's acting downwards, so I've got two uh, triangles there that need to be dealt with. So before I do anything else, I'm going to just uh, put my component parts in. Now, uh, you can see I've deliberately worked the horizontal again, as I have in previous questions. So I know then that all my vertical components will be in terms of sign. And all my horizontal will be in terms of cos. So if I just work around now using my um, methods from the previous videos, I'll have uh, 30, 21 sine 30 degrees here. I will have 9 sine 75 degrees here in the vertical. Then I'm going to have two um, horizontal components there aren't I which are going to be a bit uh, difficult to fit in so I'm just going to write them above each other to the left here and that's going to be 21 cos 30 degrees in the horizontal and 9 cos 75 degrees in the horizontal so I've written them in red as well so we can see the differences now the 8 and the 16 are both acting in the horizontal and vertical as it stands anyway so we don't need to do anything with those it was just we had to do something with the uh, 21 newtons and the 9 newtons so to start off with the uh, first thing to do would be to uh, resolve in the horizontal direction so taking my uh, horizontal to the right is positive we're going to have 16 take away 21 cos 30 degrees take away 9 cos 75 degrees obviously that's because the 21 and the 9 components act in the opposite direction uh, that will give you an overall uh, force in the horizontal of minus 4.52 newtons now if I look in the vertical uh, upwards vertical being positive I have 8 plus 21 sine 30 degrees take away 9 sine 75 degrees and that is my uh, components in the vertical so that comes to an overall answer of 9.8 newtons so now I've got my two overall horizontal and vertical um, forces if I just draw triangle forces now, I've got my 4.52 newtons acting to the left and I've got 9.8 newtons acting vertically upwards. I obviously need to find the resultant force, so the first thing I'm going to do is do a quick Pythagoras calculation and of course R squared should equal 9.8 squared plus 4.52 squared. That should give you an overall resultant when you square root that answer of 10.8 newtons. Now, if you recall, the question asked for the, uh, the angle the resultant makes with the 8 newton force. So that's actually the vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my usual calculation of theta. But I need to be mindful that the vertical of the 8 newton force is acting in that direction. So I'll need to take my answer away from 90 degrees. So uh, again, I've got my opposite and I've got my adjacent. So I'm going to say tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 9.8 over 4.52. So theta is going to equal the inverse tan of 9.8 over 4.52. So theta is going to equal uh, 65.3 degrees. Now remember that's the angle to the horizontal, so the angle to the 8 newton force 
will therefore be 90 degrees minus that, which is 24.7 degrees.